I quit guitar twice before I finally stuck with it. Here are some common reasons people quit guitar and what you can do about it. Learning to play any instrument takes time and life does get in the way. We've got school, work, family, lots of priorities. So for starters, try just carving out 20 to 30 minutes a day, first thing in the morning, over a break, whatever works for your schedule. And even if it's for a short amount of time, try to make it a regular part of your daily schedule. At the very beginning, everything is hard, and what's worse is your progress won't always be steady. You'll have weeks where you feel like you're leveling up, and then weeks where it feels like you're regressing, even when you're not, and that's just part of the game. When you run across a difficult new chord, song, or technique, break it up into small components and stick with it. It may help to keep a practice journal so you can look back at your progress and remind yourself that you overcame other hurdles in the past. It's easy to get bored playing the same songs over and over again, so always be working on something new. You can write down a list of songs you want to learn and start checking them off. You can try working on new scales or make up patterns to scales you already know, or you can take yourself through a book and go page by page. You can also find a teacher. A good teacher will always have you learning something new. This completely depends on your living situation, but it's really hard to practice when others are around. If you can, try to claim a private spot wherever you live. And if you play electric guitar, you can play with a headphone amp for just a little bit more privacy. Not having a teacher can lead to early quitting because you may be directionless or you may be working on material that's currently out of your league. A good teacher will provide weekly motivation, encouragement, and a clear path. In-person learning is best, but you can also learn a lot from a one-on-one -on -one online teacher. Maybe you have a teacher, but you don't like them. Easy fix, find a new one. Guitar is hard enough already, and you're not going to want to play your guitar if the instrument itself is getting in the way. I highly recommend taking your guitar to a luthier for a proper setup, making sure the instrument is properly intonated, and adjusting the action. It's going to be a lot easier to play your guitar when the strings are closer to the fretboard. And this is just my own personal experience and opinion, but I very much recommend finding a private luthier or one who works in a locally owned guitar shop. Good players make it look easy, but when you first start playing guitar, you find it's anything but easy. Everybody learns at their own pace, so set goals, but temper your expectations. You're not always gonna make steady progress, so I suggest setting major goals, but break them into smaller goals so it's easier to track your progress. Now, you're not gonna make much progress if you only play what's easy, but you're gonna get frustrated if you try to learn music that's way beyond your current level. So start by learning easy two to three chord songs and simple melodies, and if there's a hard song you really wanna be able to play someday, get a hold of the music and start making a list of what you need to learn in order to play it. Chords, bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs, whatever the song calls for. And by the way, a good teacher can help guide you through this process. We have good days and bad days, and we all get down on ourselves. I fall into this trap too, but the last thing you want to do is compare yourself to others with a value judgment. Just remember, nobody cares about your level of musicianship. Now, for some of you, that might be bad news. For me, it's a relief. I'm free to pursue my own path and do the best with the talent that I have. When you first start playing, everybody is going to get better than you, and even if you eventually reach a professional level of playing, there are still going to be players better than you. I mean, I'm a good player, but if you scroll through YouTube, it's not going to take long to find about 100 guitar players who play way better than I ever will, and I'm fine with that. All I can do is practice and do my best. So take inspiration and motivation from great players, but try to avoid value judgments like good or bad. It can feel a little lonely if you're the only one in your family or circle of friends who plays an instrument. You can meet like-minded people and get inspiration at open mics or friendly jam groups. You'll find that experienced musicians tend to be friendly and helpful and playing with others or in front of others is a great way to stay motivated. 
keep these things in mind if you're frustrated and thinking about quitting. Now, if you honestly don't like playing guitar, that's one thing, but if you really want to give it a go, I hope these tips have helped. And if you want to see more theory, solo guitar arrangements, or general technique lessons, please subscribe.